We began the year in the midst of the bushfire crisis that saw 25 people lose their lives, over 2,000 properties damaged and more than 5 million hectares of land burned across New South Wales. After the devastation came more challenging times in the form of drought, floods and the COVID-19 pandemic. In the face of all this, the community has come together to help each other in so many ways. My name is Amar Singh. I'm the president of Turbans for Australia. Turbans for Australia does a variety of events throughout the year. Our two main streams are aid relief and multicultural events. I think 2020 has been a certainly different year for all of us, but I see it as more of a positive than negative. Uh, it has brought us closer, closer to our families, closer to our friends, and we got to start learning to appreciate what we have, which is the basics of life. So in the good terms, I think it has really taught us the basic human values of mateship and compassion. But I think the main reason that I see in 2020 that we all got to work together. We've got to support local businesses, we've got to support local people in their different vulnerable capacities. So we're just trying to help people as we go along. We've had a huge influx in donations from people like Good360, we're buying stuff from Food Bank to help our people to give free hampers. And we are servicing uh, right throughout Western Sydney, Wollongong, Queen Bean, New South Wales and interstate. My name is Alison, Alison Passons. I'm the Youth and Community Manager at MCCI which is the Multicultural Communities Council of Illawarra. MCCI provides uh, support and services to multicultural communities in the Illawarra. So 2020 brought um, yeah, lots of challenges. So we had we started the year with bush fires and that really impacted the way we delivered our programs. It also impacted our staff and their ability to engage. And as we were moving into the recovery phase um, of community, of the resilience and building the strength again, um, COVID hit. It really needed us to, to bring together all our skills to be able to continue to respond to that and support communities. The COVID Warrior Program was working with newly arrived young people and their families across the region. We were really fortunate to partner with some of our local high schools and settlement services. We know that in working with young people they have a really critical role to play in the settlement journey and by partnering with our local high schools and delivering COVID safe information with been able to empower them with the right health literacies to then support their families and communities. My name is Noella, I'm 14 years old, I'm from Kira High School. To be a COVID warrior, we did many stuff in class. They told us to wash our hands because, and then to tell our parents how to, how to um, beat the COVID. And because many people don't speak English, they don't listen to the news. So there's many refugees that don't know what to do in COVID, so they told us um, to tell our parents what we did in class. My name is Mama Kafan, I'm 13 years old and I go to Kiro High School. I told my mom how to be a warrior and how to put a mask and put hands in ties, like wash your hands. The health information that we've been able to provide in partnership with MCCI in terms of prevention of infection, of the coronavirus, um, testing, uh, self-isolation, other important key messages um, can and have been communicated through our young people. My name is Kalisha Bennett and I'm an educator with Together for Humanity. Every year Together for Humanity put together the Metro Regional Youth Summit. This year we invited schools from regional and metro New South Wales to come on board and prepare presentations on the topic of increasing community harmony and inclusion and present those uh, ideas to New South Wales Parliament. Yeah, one of the schools in regional New South Wales prepared a video teaching the concept of Yindyamara which is about how people should feel like they're included and that they belong within their communities. Coming out of 2020, I think uh, everyone has been maybe shaken, a little bit overwhelmed, a little bit unsure about the future and about our role and our place within communities and the world at large. But I think uh, we've really been able to learn the, the potential resilience that we all carry within us. And I think, you know, in reality, whilst we've been separated and restricted, we, in ways we are connected more than ever before.